Chapter 29 With the horrors close behind, shouting and threatening us, we ran full speed toward the row of buses. My heart was pounding almost as loud as my secrets against the pavement. My throat ached, and I had a sharp pain in my side, but I kept running. You cannot escape! Stop now! Give up! The angry cries of the horror sounded even closer, but I didn't turn back to see if they were catching up. The door to the first bus was open. Dad got there first and scrambled up the steps inside. Mom stepped in, followed by the two boys. I pulled myself inside and the bus door switched shut behind me. Dad! The keys! I choked out. Yes! They're here! He cried happily. Hold on! We're getting away! The engine coughed, then started with a roar. Dad lowered his feet on the gas pedal and the bus shot forward. I stumbled down the aisle and fell into a seat behind Luke and Clay. Hurry! They're coming! They're coming! Luke and Clay were screaming in unison. I could hear the angry shouts of the horrors through the closed bus windows. We're okay, Dad cried, leaning over the big steering wheel. We're okay. We are out of here. Yes, I shouted happily. Yes! We all started to cheer. We kept cheering until we were out of the parking lot and back on the highway. We laughed and celebrated all the way home. The drive took hours and hours, but we didn't care. We were safe. We had escaped. It was night when Dad pulled the bus up the driveway. Home sweet home, I cried joyfully. We all piled eagerly out of the bus. I took a deep breath and stretched. The air smelled so sweet and fresh. A full moon made the front lawn shine. Then I saw him. It was a horror, and he was clinging to the back of our bus. Oh no, I cried. What are you doing there? Dad demanded. Did you ride there the whole way home? Luke asked in disbelief. I shrank back as the horror let go of the bus and slid to the ground. His yellow eyes studied us menacingly. He moved toward us quickly. Clay and Luke hid behind Dad. Mom's mouth was open in fright. What do you want? I cried. He reached out his green hand. Here, he said. We forgot to give you your free passes for next year. Man, that is a freaking... Damn, dudes over ending. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well guys, that's the end of One Day of Horror Land, but stay tuned for the review and personal thoughts of the book in the next video. Until then, this is John B. See you then, guys.